Hello, I'm Dagan and I'm going to do a quick review of the analog RGB component adapter for the 2GS. This device is available from Nishida Radio and you can order one by contacting him using the email link on his webpage. There's no store, but that's okay. I've got a link to his page in the video description. The prices are in yen. I paid about $49 for mine, including shipping. He was very friendly and very fast. These are handmade, and he mailed mine out one day after ordering, and I got it one week after that. You may not have the same experience depending on where you live, but I was impressed. The packing was simple but effective, completely effective, uh, but this isn't an unboxing video, so let's move on. The only thing in the box is the device. No instructions, but there are instructions on the site. The component plugs are helpfully labeled with color-coded stickers, and it also has trimmers to adjust the luminance and color, though I haven't adjusted them for this review. Another nice feature is that he included a base that is offset with standoffs, so even if there's no case, it should be fine sitting on your desktop. Connecting the unit was easy. You plug it into the RGB monitor port on your 2GS, and I found the plug to not be as tight as an Apple video cable, but it worked fine. I didn't use any special component cable to connect it to my TV. I just used standard RCA audio video cable. Now to talk about my TV. Uh, it is an LCD TV with absolutely horrible washed out colors. I got it very cheap because it supports a lot of inputs like component and you get what you pay for but I've used it with PCs and with my Wii, mostly to watch Netflix, and I can tell you that the colors you will see here are not due to the device, but my horrid TV. Still, I think you will be impressed. Here's a quick look side by side with the adapter and my TV on the left, and an authentic RGB monitor on the right. Like I said, due to the TV and my camera, the colors are a bit washed out, but the device itself seems to be putting out an incredibly good signal. So I'm just going to show some video of the different Apple II video modes and give a little commentary, but mostly let the images speak for themselves. First, looking at some low-res colors, they looked pretty good. I will say it seemed like a, a little bit of the orange and gray here, a bit squashed, but uh, that could be partly due to my monitor. Overall, I, I would say it's, it's pretty good and certainly very crisp. Now, looking at... Uh, high-res, Apple II high-res, not 2GS, 2E, 2C, whatever. Uh, I think the colors look outstanding, especially for this TV. I think these colors look great. The orange and blue and green, uh, in my mind, looked exactly as they should. And I apologize for my, my bad camera work and, and blurriness here. It's really more my phone camera than the display, but look at that. Just beautiful. Get, Get yourself one of these. You won't regret it. Now let's look at 640 by 200 mode on the actual GS monitor when we boot into System 6 versus the monitor. And again, I think it's completely passable and uh, better than most other options out there. One more look at 640 by 200 on the desktop. And how about some games? So I've been showing these with basically the correct aspect ratio, but I can set that on my uh, TV. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put it in widescreen mode real quickly, which will stretch out the image. But some people may actually prefer that when they're uh, using this device with their TV. So it takes up the entire screen. And I actually think it doesn't look too bad here.
So that's really all I've got. Again, this is Dagan with a look at the analog RGB component adapter for the 2GS by Nishida Radio. I highly recommend it. I'm sorry I don't have better quality video for some of this, but hopefully it gave you a good representation of what the quality is like. There have been a lot of still shots posted online, and I think it kind of helps to see some of these uh, games and uh, desktop and things like that in motion, so you can really see that it really does look good, and for me it was very much plug and play. I happen to have a device with component inputs. If you don't, uh, that may be an issue for you, but this just seems like the perfect device for anyone who uh, likes to use real Apple II GS hardware and intends to do so for years to come. Thanks for watching and thanks to Nishida Radio.